So we're in a bit of bother this morning. We lost our gearbox. We're actually beached at the moment. Um, yeah, we're in a bit of a mess. Uh, we've got a guy here helping us. We've got the Coast Guard coming out together. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we were pulling up the anchor like last night. The anchor chain um, stopped working with the hand remote. So we could still use it with the remote. So we were doing that this morning with just the verbal instructions to get it up. Went to put it into gear to, to pull out. And um, as you can see, we're on the bottom. I called out for help, he came out straight away, yeah. came over, he's calling the Coast Guard, so they'll come out and they'll take us into, I think, assess me. And we'll just see how we go. Yeah. But, but um, hopefully good. we don't do too much damage here on the bottom, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just waiting on the Turkish Coast Guard to uh, come out. Absolutely nothing we can do. We went to start out this morning. I'm just we're getting thumped though a little bit. The swell's picking up the worst part. I just hope they get in quick. But um, yeah, the gearbox is just gone, and I've got no. I haven't got any gears forward or reverse. And, I don't know, uh, at least we didn't end up over there. It's got a bit of a big I'm on a beach here, but it's got a few rocks and stuff. But, to see. And, uh, yeah, get to a port, get towed to a port, I guess. And, uh, you know, it could have been a lot worse. But, um, I'm going to talk to you soon until they actually get here and get us off of here. COVID-19, lockdowns, we were going well and just like it wasn't meant to be. But, uh, yeah, we're getting thumped on the bottom now. But, uh, just hope it's just too, too, not, not too much damage. Uh, that's sailing and boating. They've been really, really good. The guys you can see behind us, they gave us the best hand they could. There's nothing we could do about it. Couldn't pull off. It's just, yeah. Um, yeah, mechanical breakdown. Passport. Okay, so the Coast Guard have arrived and they've pulled us off the. Um, rocks just on the shoreline we were there there was a bit of shuttling going on while we were sitting there waiting for them they've been here really quickly so hopefully not too much damage to the keel which is going to have to be pulled out put on the hard hopefully the rudder is okay there's Turkish boat here absolutely fantastic with assistance the guy in the red shorts um, came out on his boat and helped us straight away and called the Coast Guard. I'm just so glad a Turkish boat was here because they've been able to communicate freely with them. Ian's just got our papers and giving them to the Coast Guard. <clears throat> and they've pulled, pulled us into slightly deeper water. We've dropped the anchor again. Australia. 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 And uh, we're just waiting yeah, for a bigger right. boat to come. Long way. Well, the Coast Guard are here. Wow, man, those guys come here so quick. They were so helpful. So is this fellow down. He's going to dive on the boat now just to make sure there's no problem. They've organised a fishing boat to come and take us over to a port. You couldn't get any better. Uh, brilliant. <laughs> Okay. Okay. 
It looks very good. Oh, no problem. Just small stretches. Yeah, scratches. Yeah, but it's good. Uh, please move forward. I want to check the propeller. Okay. So we're getting a tow by fishing boat. He's taking us into the marina. It's really, really cool how these guys have helped us that day. Yeah. We've got absolutely no damage to the boat on the hull, which is really cool. Um, but we've got uh, gearbox problems. Anyway, I'm going to put this down so I don't end up doing all the wrong things and just check these ropes. So we had a really good help from the Coast Guard. The guy that was actually anchored there last night that we met, we didn't realise he's actually uh, an officer in the Coast Guard. And uh, we had his crew come out and help us. Um, they've only got a small boat and um, we've organised a fisherman, he's come over and he's towing us into port. Um, yeah, we were really, really lucky. We had no damage to the boat. They dived on the boat. There's no hull problems, no problems with the keel. Um, we even had an engineer, one of their engineers that was on board, he came on and said that uh, it, it is a, a gearbox problem. So, fingers crossed, we've got more, a little bit of expense, but it could have been a lot worse. We could have lost the whole boat, and uh, especially when the weather started picking up. Um, yeah, no, I'm absolutely stoked, and I feel really, really, really privileged to meet these guys. They're absolutely excellent. Here's the other guys going. They helped us out a lot over there, giving us the siren. the traffic away from us. Yeah, they're keeping everyone away from us, which is really cool. They've been following us in as well. Berit, Berit is a guy that we met. He's a action Coast Guard captain, and he was anchored near us. And um, Yeah, mate, he was an awesome, awesome, awesome boat with so much help. They organised this boat to get us back as well and yeah and they've done us done us a favour. I mean everything costs money, you can't expect people to do anything for nothing, but uh they've come out here and and they've been really fair with us. So we're off into a marina and we'll just see how we go. And uh hopefully we can get all these problems fixed out with the boat and um yeah, go from there. Weren't we lucky? Eh? Very. To have that guy next to us who um, is a Coast Guard boss. The captain in the Coast yeah. Guard. What, what are the odds? And he did. He was just brilliant. Jumped on the radio, called the Coast Guard liaison with them when they came to organise this fishing boat told us exactly where, what was happening, where we're going, and um, how it would play out. I dived on the boat to take some footage for the mechanic and see for myself the extent of the damage. Unfortunately, when the coupling to the gearbox and prop broke, the shaft had moved an inch or so aft, and Hobo would need to come out of the water for repairs.
seal's got to be done, so that should be no problem. Move it off to Istanbul tonight. 